Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Mickey Mouse. And today we're going to be talking about something that's not the most exciting thing in Marvel Future Fight, but actually matters more than you think and has a lot of optimization in it, a lot of min-maxing. So these are the types of things that I deep down really love because it allows you with a, an analytical mind to make really good decisions for your account for the long term. So this is something that you're not going to see an immediate result, but if you chip away at this over time, you're going to be in a much better position than other players. And this video and the things I'm going to talk about in this video are also something that I know probably 30, 40% of players just don't do. They'll just, they'll watch the video and be like, that's nice, Alex. That's, that's cool. I, I appreciate the video, but I'm actually not going to do it. I actually just don't care. And I, and I feel you, I understand. But for the rest of you, the, the remaining 50 to 60% or 70% of you that are going to do this, you're going to be in a better position in six months, in a year's time. Uh, not right away, like I said, but uh, in a little bit of time. So what is it? I'll stop stalling here. It is the new Shield Archive. Now, I've already made a video on Shield Archive, so we're not going to go in depth and discuss every single one of these Shield Archives because there are a lot of them. But I will be focusing on the newer ones because they added a bunch of new ones like this one, Novice Villains. And I'll also be explaining something that I misunderstood originally. Yes, I, I was completely wrong about something. And this one is a perfect example. So I'll explain here. You look at this one, you look at this uh, Shield Archive. And again, if you don't know exactly what Shield Archive is, you should go back and watch that original video. I'll leave a link in a card uh, that, that'll just pop up in the right corner if you click that little uh, circle with the eye, uh, because I don't want to explain what Shield Archive is from the beginning. But basically, a very short version of it is these are items that drop in other game modes that you play and you collect them and then they give you these permanent rewards up here in the top right corner. What I didn't understand is how this was possible. So you look at this one, you're like, Alex, you finished the Quantum Bands, you finished Nova's Helmet and you finished God Slayer. You finished three out of the five. Isn't that at least 60%? Shouldn't you already have um, Lunas? No. Because it's not the it's not the items, not the tiles that are each worth the equivalent 20%. As you can see here, perfect example, the Spartax mask, the, the Star Lord mask is only 0 out of 2. Whereas Drax's saxophone is 0 out of 20. So you actually have to add up all of those numbers, and that is your 100%. So take another one, for example, that I haven't done, I haven't cleared any of them on. So look at this one here. You got 25, 200, 60, 100, 90, and 75. I'm just reading the totals, not what I have. So you have to, like of all of those, you, you add that number all together. I don't know what it is. It's like close to 500 or something. Uh, and then whatever, you know, you have to collect 250 of these pieces, not one specific piece, but just in total in order to hit 50%. Right. And so if let's say this total is 600, just to make the number easier, you now know that if you want to hit the the 20 percent, then you need to have whatever, 120. And then if you want to hit the 40 percent, you need to have 240. I'm actually not sure if that's the exact number, but you sort of get what I'm saying. So it's actually the total amount of items that then dictates what the percentage is. So you can have a pretty lopsided uh, shield archive like that one that I showed you where I've completed the majority of it. But I've actually gotten only one reward. Now, why do we why do we care about these rewards? Well, what I talked about in a previous video, which I can make another video on to explain, is basically that tier fours get a metric S ton. You know what that S word stands for? It's the stuff you pick up if you have a pet dog. They have a metric shit ton of instinct. And you look here at 3,400 instinct for Moon Knight. You go look at Iron Man, 3,500. You go look at Thor. 3,500. You go look at Mephisto, 700. It's it's like five times more, right? It's like five times more. Why does that matter? Well, it matters because you get an instinct boost in GBR in the second phase after killing one of the mindless ones. You get a 200% instinct bonus boost bonus uh, for those Swedish people in the chat. Uh, and then also it matters for the artifact because if you take a look here at the artifact, it gives you a buff and, and the buff has an additional, a bonus amount equal to a percentage of your total instinct. And that percentage is very low, 0.2%. It's very, very low. You have to multiply the final instinct by 0 0.002. However, guess what? 0 0.002 multiplied by 3,500 is a pretty big number. It's like 10%. 
so that 15 percent boss damage actually jumps up to 25 percent now right now Godzilla later thank you julian but yeah so in some cases with just a four star artifact you can almost double the effect on a tier four character so having more instinct actually matters a lot now it actually matters a lot for tier fours and it's going to matter even more like i said in six months in a year when there is actual when there's more actual content that is required that tier fours are required for that lots of instinct damage is required for and lots of instinct stats are required for you can see a small edge in gbr but not too much we will be seeing a new game mode i guarantee you within the next year or 18 months we will be seeing a new game mode where that is sort of a key component of it so again it's not something you have to worry about right now but it is something that you want to pay attention to right now and you want to make sure you're farming all of this content every single day so that you can put yourself in a position to have that stuff and, and have these collections more close to completion uh in six months to a year's time and as you can see i don't have most of them completed i really don't however i wanted to make this video to highlight the new shield archives not the old ones the new ones that you can focus on or you can actually finish really quickly to get some cheap and easy buffs uh, and some items as well but also some buffs to your instinct and keep in mind you can find all of these items like if you go to some of these missions you will see the items in the corner there okay and you can always just click on them and then click on that blue sort of sandwich icon it's like three layers it sort of looks like a, a photoshop document whatever with a star on top next to the x you click that and it will take you to the archive that it's referring to so you can always do that and my advice to you is if you're not clearing all of this content you should be now some of this content is locked behind the epic quest that you have to then complete so if you've been dragging your feet on an epic quest and you have the resources for it but you're just like eh i don't want to invest my resources in it you might want to consider cross-referencing the epic quest that you're skipping for example let's say you're skipping the dr doom epic quest so you go look at doomsday and you go look at this royal family um one and what you get from it you get accuracy crit resistance and crit decrease ah that's not so great but let's look at the other um you know related missions again it's a bit complicated but you go to twisted world again this is part of the dr doom epic quest and you go ahead and check okay this the secret transport is part of the transport one okay this one gives me instinct defense it's going to give me instinct crit damage and it's going to give me 600 instinct attack and this is a permanent bonus huh maybe i should do the the epic quest at least go as far as to unlock these quests right in the shadow of doom and latvian champion so that i can farm these items i've actually already finished farming the item from this one so some of them are pretty easy to farm you know since it's been added like a couple of weeks ago i've already finished some of them it's like a, it's like a top hat or something like that uh, and then another one was like a gun um, some of them are quite easy to farm so you don't have to worry about that uh, but in general what i would say is don't worry about this but always keep track of it maybe not on a daily basis but like on a weekly basis or a monthly basis just track it in some way so that you can yeah it's that one right there the tuxedo hat that I already finished track it in some way so that you can have a leg up over players that are not tracking it so now I want to show you guys some of the shield archives that you can you know qu very quickly finish to get some really nice rewards so for example the not so friendly neighbors you can always look at the location to get them of course but you can also look at combining the data now some of them are too expensive and you don't want to use chaos nordstones that's fine some of the resources are even more expensive and I see people tagging me or, or asking me questions on, on social media and they're like Alex uh this resource this item uh asks you to combine uh Odin's blessings or it asks you to combine like tier four materials isn't this so crazy expensive shouldn't they make this cheaper and my answer is no they shouldn't make it cheaper because the like for example this one this one's crazy right there's some that are even crazier like this one right listen this is supposed to be crazy expensive because you're not supposed to use this these resources you're not supposed to right but the point is we can't imagine it now but sometime in the future in two years in three years in four years these resources that we think are so rare are not going to be rare anymore I know it sounds ridiculous but remember three years ago we were all begging for CCF begging for it now I don't know what to do with it it will happen there's always going to be resource inflation in Marvel Future Fight. It happens to every single game. It will happen, right? The only items it won't necessarily happen to are uh, like things that are capped with very, very low amounts. But even those ones are starting to be a bit 
inflated in the sense that you can always just use a couple of them and then get back up to 10 and then sort of wiggle your way back and forth and so that's my first tip is you want to identify some of these shield archives like for example the hell cycle and if you look at the combined data it looks really expensive wow it's the vashanti books alex i can barely clear gbr okay so for those of you that can barely clear gbr obviously this is not going to take as a piece of advice but for those of you that can clear it or you can work with friends and work together and clear it you might already be capped on combat books and blast books so if you're capped why not use up one or two of those books and slowly chip away at this right maybe you don't add a book every single day you want to be careful not to hit that max button right and you can always click that when you see the little blue square with the two arrows with this like recycling logo you can always click that and switch and you can see we have the speed book so we will be getting a speed tier four in the future but I'm going to use one of these blast books as well I know storm is coming but I have enough time there are enough days left before storm drops that I'll be able to farm these last two books back so you can slowly grind away at this I've probably already pushed like I've already already sacrificed 10 books to this uh data now yeah I, there's it's 90 but that's not gonna take me that long it's gonna take me like two three months again it's a slow grind it's not meant to happen in a day so people that are fretting and, and sweating about the cost are like Alex I don't want to spend 7,000 CCF to finish this bro you don't have to farm this sleep near slowly it drops from the story mode you're gonna farm the story mode anyways for the fragments to get the tier three materials so just do it at your own pace don't worry about it I'm not worrying about it right so you want to identify the ones that you can just slowly chuck some materials into now and then again it's not every single day necessarily but you can just chuck some materials for specific resources that cap out so another really good example is the doom mask if you look at the doom mask it takes mcron shards now maybe you need mcron shards to, to do the mastery on mutants but eventually you're going to hit the cap and you have nothing to do with them some players just stay at the cap and they let their uh stuff in the inbox overflow from dispatch passive farming other players will sell 500 when they get to 6,000 and then they'll just keep collecting till it hits back up and then they'll sell it again. You can just come here and, and put it in, right? You put in 150. It doesn't have to be a large amount. Again, you, you it can be a large amount. It can be a small amount. Uh, and then when it fills back up to 6,000 and it caps out, you can come back and finish this one off, right? And again, the first reward, it's just some feathers. The second reward, it's just some Encron crystals. The last reward, 150 instinct attack that's pretty good and that will be there forever none of these are uh temporary buffs they're all permanent buffs the only ones that are temporary are the ones that have the little clock in the bottom right hand corner like this instinct attack from the new asgard event shield archive so yeah you definitely want to identify the ones and I'll, and I'll highlight some other ones here you definitely want to identify the ones that are worthwhile another example here is ones where you can actually get away with not having to sacrifice resources or premium resources at all so take for example collector's vault one you really want that instinct attack it's 500 right you're like whoa so you look at this and you're like okay I need to get to 75 percent it's a total of 16. So you can actually just focus on the moon necklace and the 10 rings and you can completely ignore the ultimate nullifier because you can get to 75 percent without touching the ultimate nullifier so if we look at the 10 rings yeah you can use odin's blessings you're not going to do that so you're going to go farm it from the shang chi legendary battle for the moon necklace you're going to farm it from the dimension rift on the day that it pops up so this one's a little bit more annoying you have to you have to keep track of which day pops up the beginning of the storm that's fine ultimate nullifier oh my god i can't farm for it what do i need to do I'm not going to sacrifice a CTP of Rage. Bro, you don't have to. The only reason why you would sacrifice a CTP of Rage is if you've already completed this one, and you've already completed this one, and you want to get the 675 Instinct Defense. But we're, you know, you can cross that bridge when you get to it, baby. You don't got to worry about that right now. Another shield archive that you can focus on and bang out early is the Daily Life of Heroes 2. While the Instinct Crit Damage plus 50 is not that great, it's easy to farm because this is from the Deadpool Epic Quest. The Lab Coat can be farmed from the other Epic Quests, and this one can be farmed from Legendary Battle, but they can also just be combined very easily with type enhancement kits, and it's not even that many. And again, you can always substitute one for another if you don't have enough of the one that you need per se and then for the custom microphone again you can definitely and you definitely should be using your feathers to farm uh, to, to craft cards but when you hit the cap of feathers uh, at 6,000, and maybe you don't feel like crafting cards or you don't need cards at the moment you can always just chuck a couple in here now and then again i've already farmed up five out of 15 without even using it because they just drop from any legendary battle and you're farming the other legendary battles for other shield archives so it overlaps but this is just a good one to keep in mind of 
for feathers because it is a capped resource another capped resource is in the name of peace the riot shield if you go over here it is the vashanti books again again you decide you know how many you're going to keep float on your float i would say stop at eight just in case there's an update around the corner but if you know there isn't an update for two weeks you could burn five books right because no way you're not going to be able to farm up five books in uh, two weeks as long as you can play gbr at least once or twice a day but again you can always farm this from one of the epic quests i believe that's the sentry epic quest we have the aim drone from technological revolution where you can combine regular books again if there's an update around the corner and you know who the tier three is going to be let's say in this case iceman you don't want to be burning your blast books but there's no probably not going to be a combat tier three probably not going to be a speed tier three you know you could wait till the day after the update to do this but again same sort of thing you burn two books now you slowly chip away at this you only need 24 in total you can always farm it from the epic quest but you can also you know make more use and min max these limited resources that you're not necessarily uh using once they hit their cap because once they hit their cap uh you can't claim any more so rather you know put them to use oh maybe not the blast ones hang on let's use the speed ones put them to use uh, and slowly chip away at these resources and these sort of you know collection bonuses so you can eventually snag that uh, instinct crit damage 200 or that instinct attack 650 which is huge electra size here in the followers of the beast again not the greatest rewards 100 percent decrease instinct crit damage received but you can just burn some feathers here now and then if you aren't farming this uh smaller heads prevail in the eternals epic quest the x-men badge and the heroes are not alone shield archive can also be used uh, with regular books to combine and sort of slowly chip away at this one alternatively it can be farmed in the epic quest for shock and awe which i think this is also eternals we already talked about the one from transportation where you use the vishanti books as well the the hell cycle this one is another one and then the last one i want to show you is i believe the vulture wings as soon as i can find it here because the vulture wings are also uh there's also there's a lot of like references here but yeah the vulture wings here you can burn feathers in and there's other ones you can you'll, you'll be able to find them that you can burn type enhancement kits you can burn uh black antimatter you can burn uh you know uh, mcron crystals mcron shards so hopefully this helps you out you should go through and, and see you know all of them and then focus on the ones that um, appeal to you the most but you should definitely keep an eye on this again you know burn some of those resources now and then to min max uh and then it, it won't it's not gonna you know it's not gonna reward you right away you won't see those results right away but in six months in a year you'll have more of these done or you'll be very close to finishing them whereas someone who doesn't pay attention and just gets to 10 books let, lets it sit there maxed out gets to 6,000 feathers or 6,000 mcron shards maxes it out doesn't do anything doesn't collect lets it overflow and burn and, and disappear they're not getting any value for those resources right so yeah hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think of this I know it was a bit of a dry topic but it's important and it's something that I had to cover sooner or later so might as well do it in between updates so yeah thanks so much for watching smash the like button and I'll see you in the next one take care